This video includes everything needed. For editing your gacha character, you will definitely need to slow the video for some parts. And pause. Let's get into it. Go into Ibis Paint X. Import your image. Add a layer. I drop your hair color and tap the bucket tool on the hair. This will thin the lines of the hair. Add a layer and select Multiply. Use a blurring brush. And go over the thin hair lock lines to give a shadow. But before you do this, tap the magic wand tool on the hair. Another layer under multiply and I drop the dark lines. Use the darker color over the dark lines but still show them. and select add I drop the dark color and add the light strokes where the light would hit it Add another layer under Add and make a large stroke with the same color. Erase the edges to make an indent. Add another layer under Multiply. Start stroking small lines on the locks. under normal and I drop base hair color. Make some strokes coming off the hair. Good job! Clothing I made her whole body her skin color. Add a layer under normal. Then I used a light red and made my clothing sketch.
a black line to outline the sketch of the clothing. You can skip to 716 for next instructions, since this is just me outlining. Start coloring your clothing whatever color you want. You can skip this part because it's all up to you. How you want to color and design your clothing. And yes, you can use my ideas for clothing and details if you want to watch this part. Skip point 850. Me struggling with sequence only to not use it. Add some details. I'm adding fish nets. Be creative. Just so you know, I am really only using the blurring brush. Skin this for the brush. Clothing is done, good job. Shading the clothing. Add a layer under multiply and I drop your clothing color. Select the clothing parts with the magic wand tool. Make shadows and use the blur tool to blur. Another multiply layer and I drop the shadow color. Then go over the most shaded areas just like the hair. Add some lines 
because clothing isn't perfect. Lightly blur the lines you just made. a layer and select add. I drop the base shadow color on the clothing and add light strokes over whatever light would touch. Then blur the light lines with the blur tool. to make the clothing a little more realistic. Clothing is shaded. Skin blending. Add a layer under multiply and eye drop the skin color. Again, mix shadows using the darker color. Blend the edges with the blur tool. Same with face. Skin is shaded, slay. Eyes. Add a layer under normal and I drop the main eye color. Color everything in the eye other than the pupil. Color the whole pupil its color. Color the other part of the eye white. Use the magic wand tool on part of the eye. Right outside of the pupil. Add a multiply layer and get airbrush trapezoid 20%. Dropping the eye space color. Then I drop the first layer of dark, and so on and so forth, so you get a layered texture. Add a layer under add.
Get a bright pink and do the same with the ad as you just did. With the multiply. Darken the pupil if needed. Add a new layer and select linear bird. I drop the base eye color and cover half of the entire eye with the linear bird. Edge of the bird. Lower the opacity. Make a little blob with lines through it. Make a layer under add and get another pink. Make another little blob. Just me struggling over eyelashes. Now tap on each layer that goes with the eye. Then above the trash can on the right. There is an arrow pointing down at a platform. Tap that to merge the layers to the first eye layer. Use the lasso tool to circle the eye. Copy and paste for the other eye and erase access on the other eye. Details can skip. I like to use the chain one brush for details. I tried doing sequence on the crown. I would recommend for stuff like that. But it didn't really look right. Shoes.
erase all the background color optional. Congrats! You edited your gadget OC.